Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Yes, you. Subscribe. Hit the notification button. Do it. Enjoy the video. I'm out. Woo! Yo, 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 shut up. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Well, not welcome back. I'm only doing this in one take. You already know what's been to happen. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I decided to do something a bit different. Like I said when I first started this channel, even though I'm a gaming channel, I do other stuff than gaming such as discussions, rants, and whatnot. And with the recent outpour of opinions from the community that is Dragon Ball community, I wanted to take, you know, do my own take on some stuff. And, and damn it, I got some things to get off my chest. It's 2018, man. It's time for me to express my opinions via this platform, and I hope you guys enjoy. And, uh... If you don't like my opinion, then um, I have this to say to you. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! Straight like that. I'm coming with that fire. You think this is over? I'm getting better with my editing, baby. I'm getting better. But obviously, if you've seen, well, you, you, you've you seen the thumbnail. You know what y'all came for. I really like to explain myself. But I will say, I'm a very avid with why wow, I'm only doing one take only ever watch of things all things Dragon Ball and I would like to express that this is my opinion just like I just stated don't make me play that clip again I'll play the clip again but like I said this is my opinion and if you agree cool if you don't agree cool but let me know in the comments and yes all my ideas happen at the end of the Universal Power Tournament so shut up also, I would like to address that again, these are me brainstorming ideas I'm getting from watching various different animes, you know, that found success in certain aspects that I talk about. Uh, but I'm just talking out your ear right now. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, before I get into this, I meant to do one more thing. One more thing before I get into this real quick. Hold on, hold on for a second. I got y'all. I got y'all. Wait, right here. Three, two, one. Oh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all. But anyway, number one on the list, and this might be controversial because people don't know how to blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to say it because I don't care. This is how I feel. Number one is undoubtedly, well, not number one. Like, before I get into this, this is not like a top five list. This is just like, just like a, this is a, this is like a basic list. But anyway, like I was saying, Number one is Distance Gohan from Piccolo. Now you're probably like, what the frick? This is a stupid idea. This makes no sense. Leave Piccolo alone. Here's my issue. I personally think that Piccolo is one of the essential characters of Dragon Ball. A character that you gradually, you know, see change over the decades. And we've seen this character grow. And to be honest, Piccolo is in a much better place in the series. And I don't think he should have another arc or a big moment in the story because you know his his story is done like he can have like little side stuff but his story is done what he can be in the realm of dragon ball like he's been doing but in a much more backseat place is he could be a mentor to others on the side you know like oh my god you're probably sucking your teeth right now but hear me out throughout gohan's entire existence he's at piccolo not goku because Goku's been doing his own thing, but throughout his existence, like as a father, he's been around him. It's like watching him over his father figure. And I'm not saying remove Piccolo from the series completely. It's just to enhance Gohan's character, he needs to grow up. Be a man, a tough man. Granted, he's a scholar and a fighter at the same time, but hopefully this tournament can give Gohan the final push to say, Step Pop, I love you, but I need to be independent. Because what you don't want is Gohan to regress, and that's a bad thing, because we already seen that. Be a man, darn it. Now, for my number two, this might be a controversial one. Another controversial one. One I've went back and forth with, but trust me, I had some soul searching for this. But my number two is Turn Frieza Good. Wait for it. With the catch. I can already hear you guys. Listen to me, please. I'm not saying Frieza should be a good guy, but I personally think his story is not to say done. But for me, I'm sick and tired of Frieza's like 
his motive in like what he does because like it's it's pointless. It's pointless. He took over like like let's 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 go down the list. He took over Namek, failed. Tried to take over Earth, failed, got cut up in pieces. Tried to take over the world again, failed, got blown up. We're not even gonna talk about the stuff that isn't canon. My ideas for the tournament, like after the tournament, assuming Universe 7 wins, because we all know they're probably gonna win. That's not a like a big thing. Like Wiz grants his, you know, not like not grant his wish, but like he holds his promise saying that yeah, you know, you help us in the tournament, you could be alive or, or something like that. Something wild like that. Like I, I could see that happening to where, you know, Beerus becomes not Beerus, but one take Johnny and Frieza becomes like, you know, like what I want to say. Remember how Vegeta wanted to train with Wiz and Beerus, so he wanted to get stronger, he wanted to surpass Kagar, I want to surpass Kagar, right? Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, have that for v for Frieza, except make him like a permanent like lack like lap dog. Like brushing hair, cat follicles, all types of crazy stuff. It'll it would probably it it would be funny. Just be honest, it would be funny to see Frieza in a light that we've probably never seen him before. Having Frieza be his lackey and have kind of humble himself like, oh, I've been the top guy all this long. And for me to stay alive, I'd have to, you know, chuck it, do all types of housework and blah, 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 blah. And plus it would set up for the next arc that I'm about to talk about, which is number three, the Planet Sadal arc. Now, this arc, there's probably a majority of community members that think this should be number one because, you know, we want Vegeta. We want Kaba or Kabe. I don't know how you say it. We all want to see new Saiyans, good or bad. Looking at you, Kefla. But what if I told you that adding Frieza could add a whole new dimension to the arc? Now, hear me out. Adding Frieza to this arc will be like, let me set it up for you. Let me let me set this up for you. Because I'll think this with an open mind. Breathe in, breathe out. Kaba holds his pro or Ka I don't know, holds his promise to take Vegeta to Universe 6. And you know, as Beerus and we Whis are sending Vegeta down to U6, you know, to visit Planet Sadal. How would you think, like, just think, wouldn't it be interesting if Frieza tagged along? Think of the funny and crazy moments that like that could happen in that in that realm in that idea personally like it would just be for me it would be more entertaining to see that like think of the funny and interesting dialogues that can be made out of this from Regina learning about the ways of the Saiyans of Universe 6 because they they had to be different like ways and stuff like that because they're peaceful as in like Universe 7 Saiyans they're like more macho all that type of stuff to like, you know, Frieza giving a moment to just think like maybe, maybe he was brought up, he was brought up like wrong. Not saying that he should be good. I'm just saying maybe in his head, he's thinking, ah, how I, back in the day, how I thought Saiyans were, this, this, what they're doing right now, it might be, you know, pissing me off, but you know, I can respect that. And that's what I'm trying to get at with. Like Frieza doesn't have to be good per se. Like like how Vegeta was, like mid like around the cellish cellish booish before he not not even cellish boo like cellish in that realm where he didn't like he didn't really like Goku like that, but he respected him. He respected him as a fighter, he respected him as a warrior. When it came down to it, they coincided with each other. And yes, I do know Frieza and Vegeta despise each other, but just think with an op be open-minded. This could work. This could work. Now my number four has to be probably the one that I think they should do after this tournament is a time skip. Let me paint you guys the picture real quick, real quick. After the events of the Tournament of Power, you would think that the, well, not Z Fighters are in Super right now. I don't know why, do, we, do people still call them Z Fighters? I never really got that, that's stupid. But anyway, the fighters would probably need a big break after fighting like in like a, like a bunch of other universes. And a, to me, a time, like 
a time lapse, preferably a five year time lapse, would be beneficial because let's be honest, this universal, of, like uni this Tournament of Power arc, it's been a lot. It's been a lot to take in. Good, bad, it's been a lot. And for them to jump into another threat, it would kind of be just like, it, it would be too much the process. Like we just got over Jiren, then it's like, who's? Cause like with Dragon Ball, it's like, it's like you got one, what do I want to say? You have one top tier, like you go, like, it's like, it raises the bar. That's what I'm gonna say, it raises the bar. And after Jiren, how can you top Jiren? That, like, how can you top Jiren? What, what villain is gonna give them a, a bigger trouble right after Jiren, like right back, back off of Jiren. And like, that's why I think five years is enough time to do like, you know, the following things with certain characters, which I will list to you right now. Like for instance, bring the, bring the kids back. We love the kids, bring the kids back. Let them grow up. Like, it, like look into this time skip. Like characters like Goten and Trunks would be beneficial to the show's future success to see them grow older, like providing them much experiences and stuff like that that will be like it will be cool to see like them growing up and like plus you gotta like see like you you don't understand it's like what was what, what am i gonna say like like i said there's only one take pan like i, I forgot the name i just lost concentration but pan bulla they would probably be like five six years old and hey gohan was like four when he trained with piccolo so it wouldn't be that like out of the realm to do and like i could see i could see them training with piccolo or vegeta or their dad like it would just be a really cool idea to see an idea like a five-year time skip and after that they can go into a new threat it would be probably the most realistic thing that they like they could do if i could see them do it this probably be the most realistic thing that they do which brings me to my fifth and final thing that Dragon Ball Super should do after the Tournament of Power, and that is a political god arc, or like how you want to say it, a god of destruction organ arc. Now, with this you guys have to understand, it would be damn cool to see this. And the greatest thing is, this doesn't have to be only about Beerus, just think. Like all the questions that will be answered. How did the gods get their assigned jobs? How did they get their angels? How did the Omni King come into power? Did they have an exam? Should they have an exam? Countless times, like we see in other animes, they do origin stories on support characters that have big influences on the main characters and showing why the gods act the way they do, like on some slice of life type stuff, like preferably 10 episodes. I, I would be fine with that. I'll be fine with that. And like, the, to be honest, they could, they like how I would want it done, they should do it right after the Tournament of Power. Or like during the time skip, have five episodes of the time skip and then five episodes of the, the origin story. That would like fill in as much time so it's not like super duper fillered out to where like, oh, it just, it's like these episodes don't have meaning. These episodes had meaning, like five episodes of the time skip, five episodes of the origin arc. That probably would be too, that, that'd be fire. That'd be some fire stuff right there. Whoo, my God. And that's my list. Now, if you enjoyed the entire video, good for you. And if you didn't, good for you, cause you still watched. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget that you know, let me know in the comments what other lists you want me to do. I could do a longer list, a shorter list. I don't know. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Because it's all things Dragon Ball. I don't know if I'm going to be a Dragon Ball channel, but you know, I like discussions like this. Anyway, I've been UNG. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. Yeah, I'm dreaming of seeing all